The YouTube team keep it clean. Our boy Tyson Williams is back again. Uh, and this time he's getting an opportunity with the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, and hopefully he does make their roster and he really gets a chance to shine. Now, I know Colts fans are wondering, who is Tyson Williams? What is Tyson? Like, what's up with Tyson Williams? Especially, how, how, did, what, how did he become available? You know, the Ravens, they run the ball more than anybody. They love the run game. Like, who's Tyson Williams? So, um, Tyson Williams, uh, a couple years ago, he was an undrafted uh, rookie free agent. Um, I, I believe they said it was injuries. Uh, that really kept him from being drafted. Uh, but nonetheless, um, he stuck around on the practice squad his rookie year. Uh, but then his second year, which was last year, y'all know the Ravens had injuries to literally every running back on their roster. J.K. Dobbins out for the season. Gus Edwards out for the season. Justice Hill out for the season. So they had to sign guys like Le'Veon Bell for a couple of weeks. Yikes. Uh, Devontae Freeman, he was there the whole season. Latavius Murray. He was there the whole season, even though he got injured for a, a big portion of it and missed some time. But anyway, Tyson Williams was there as well. Uh, and with Tyson Williams, something that we saw from preseason, preseason, we saw this like this explosive runner. He got just great speed. He was a, a, a home run runner. Home run. Like, he'll take it to the house. Uh, he's one of those running backs to where you, you're not going to question, like, if he's in open field, is somebody going to catch him? Is somebody going to catch up? To no, they're not. They're not. Um, and we saw that in preseason, and I was thinking, okay. Unfortunately, once J.K. went out at the end of preseason, I was like, oh, man. And then Gus, and again, it was a sad story with running backs. But I'm thinking, okay, it's Tyson Williams' time. We, we got this young running back. Yeah, we lost our guys, but we got this young running back. All right, let's go. But no. Um, week one against the Raiders, he started off hot. He started off hot. Like he was getting these big chunk gains, uh, but then he, he did fumble. He had a fumble. And, and the ball went out of bounds. He didn't lose a fumble, but he still fumbled nonetheless. And then, like after the first half, it's like we, I think he only got like two carries in the second half. He, they just stopped using him. They stopped using him. And then there was a. Uh, a missed, a missed uh, assignment. I think it was in overtime. And it led to Lamar getting hit. Lamar fumbled. And I think the Raiders recovered. I think that was the one in overtime. But I got to watch the game back. But anyway, um, I know he did miss a big assignment. Uh, he missed the uh, pass block assignment uh, that led to Lamar getting popped. Um, and then in week two uh, against the Chiefs, he, again... Explosive runner, big gains on the ground, nice runner, good at finding the holes, good at cutting. And the thing that I, I like the most about Tyson Williams is that even when he cuts, he doesn't lose speed, he doesn't lose acceleration. He still keeps the same speed even when he's making a cut. So um, we saw that again in the Chiefs game. But then there was a really big run that he got. He's running, 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 running. We like, oh, go Tyson, let's go. And then he gets to like, the five-yard line, the Chiefs' five-yard line. And I don't remember who it was, but a Chiefs player, pop, fumble. Fumble at the goal line. A good thing for the Ravens, Devin Duvernay, he recovered it. So it was a, a crazy touchdown, but a touchdown nonetheless. Um, but it was two fumbles in two weeks. Um, and it was like, oof, we know how John Harbaugh feels about the fumbles. And then from that point on, we never really saw Tyson Williams again like that. We, we saw him like in, in tiny, tiny, tiny bits and pieces, but really like hardly ever. Uh, but the crazy thing is, is that he was the Ravens' most explosive runner last year. Most explosive runner last year. With him in the game, you, you had a chance to, to, for him to go to the house of one, to take it a distance. But the Ravens, and for, for me, I personally think that it was something more than the fumbles. I, I think it was something deeper than that because, like, they again, they were down to Devontae Freeman, Latavius Murray. And what made it even weirder is that um, Latavius Murray had got hurt for a while. So it was Devontae Freeman and, and, uh, and Le'Veon Bell. Like, and you, you still didn't use Tyson Williams? That's why I think it, it was deeper than them two fumbles at the early on in the season. There were some times when um, Lamar Jackson and him, they just didn't seem to be 
on the same page. Uh, there will be some passes where it looked like Lamar was leading him with the pass, but Tyson Williams sometimes he would just stop, um, and it 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 ended up messing up some plays and whatnot. Uh, but I think really the the writing on the wall for the Ravens, even though it was kind of weird why they weren't using him throughout the season, but I think the writing on the on the wall really came in uh in the Bengals the first Bengals game, the first Ravens Bengals game. Where it was, I think it was like third down, um, and it looked like, I don't know because I obviously wasn't in the huddle, but it looked like Tyson Williams didn't know what the play was. It looked like he just didn't know what it was, and Lamar was trying to communicate it to him, and he didn't know what it was, and they either had to use a timeout or they got to delay a game, one of the two. I forgot what it was. Uh, but then after that, uh, like, the, like the very next play on fourth down, um, the game is like, it's not over, but it's pretty much over, but it's not all the way over yet. Ravens, if, if they would have converted that fourth down, then they would have still had a chance to come back, but it would have took a lot. And anyway, um, Lamar Jackson throws the ball to Tyson Williams, and it's, this is fourth down, and he ends up like it, it just looked like he wasn't really giving it his all, um, and he ended up running out of bounds. On the fourth down, he ended up running out of bounds, and it was just like, oh, man, that was tough, man. That, that, that was tough to watch. So I just I just wonder what was going on with the Ravens and Tyson Williams last year. And it's one of those things that we'll just never know. Um, so hopefully for him, a change of scenery. Uh, that'll do him really good because the potential is there. He showed the flashes. Um, and I just wonder if it was sort of like a mental thing. Um, I wonder if. The Ravens, they had a lack of confidence in him, which it seemed that they did. Uh, and then that showed because it's one thing. And, and this is just in life, period. If you don't have confidence, say, for instance, you as a, a as a parent um, and you have your child and your child, they they mess up whenever they write in their name. They mess up. They might put a letter backwards or something like that. They mess up when they write in their name. And you're like, man, what? Why do you always mess up your name? It's your name. You, you can't put the letters forward. Come on. What, what's wrong with you? What's going on? Why, why do you keep doing that? What's the problem? Oh, man, you, you, you're you never going to be able to spell your name right. You can't even write the letters forward. You keep writing them backwards. For what? What's, what's the problem? And if you keep telling them that over and over and over again, children got good memories. And they're going to be like, man, I'm... Yeah, may, maybe I am never going to be able to do that. Maybe I am never going to be able to write my name the right way. But if you tell them in a different way, like, hey, oh, okay, you, you messed up on your name. It's okay. We, we're going to keep working at it, and, and you are going to get this thing right. We, you're going to learn how to write your name the correct way. I, I, I know you can do it. I know you got it. I believe in you. I got, I got, I got faith in you. I got confidence in you that you are going to get this thing right, and we are, we are actually going to get this thing right together. That's a whole nother ball game. Children remember that too. So that you having confidence in somebody that can completely change their outlook and they can completely change the way that they take on uh, whatever it is that they're taking on. So I wonder if that was the case with a Tyson Williams, especially on that fourth down play, because he just looked like he just looked like he, he was checked out of that game. He just looked like he was like completely checked out. And it, then we really didn't see him, like, at all after that. Like, we really didn't. Um, so hopefully with Indianapolis Colts, uh, he can get a shot. I'm not sure what their running back situation is behind Jonathan Taylor. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on there. But it, they got an offensive line. Hopefully they'll be healthy this year. Uh, but they got an offensive line. Um, as far as quarterback, they got Matt Ryan now. Nick Foles too, right? Nick Foles done came through. Um, but yeah, we, we, so we're going to see. We're going to see. But with, with Tyson Williams, you just, excuse me, hope you just hope that he's in a good mental space. Um, because the, the, all the, uh, the ability is there. The ability is there for him to be uh, a nice running back in the NFL. All he got to do is show it. That's it. All he got to do is show it. Now, one thing um, with the Ravens, he did not play special teams. 
That's as far as being a returner, being a gunner, kick coverage, punt coverage. He he didn't play special teams. So um, maybe with the Colts, they may be like, all right, Tyson, let's see what you got on offense, of course, but let's see what you got on special teams. So I'm sure if if that is presented to him, then that can be an op- another opportunity, another way that he can make the roster, not just as a running back, but as a special teamer too. So if that's the case, then hopefully he will accept that responsibility and, and take it head on and just make it work. Because I, I really do want to see Tyson do good. I really do want to see him uh, get an opportunity. Because I know Jonathan Taylor, I know he's he going to run for like 2,500 yards. We know that's going to happen. Like, like last year, he was just killing it. And there was even talk during the regular season that he could have been, he was in the MVP conversation. Um, but with, with Tyson, so with Tyson Williams, if he can be some sort of backup, uh, to Jonathan Taylor, and again, I, I do not rem- Oh, not Naheem, Naheem. Nah, I think what is his name? Naheem Hines. Oh, I, 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 f- I forget his name, but I think that yeah, that's the Colts number two, and he plays special. He's a return man too, and all that. And I know they move him around on offense and all that too. Um, so I guess that's that would be the number two. So maybe Tyson is fighting for that number three spot. So uh, I, hopefully he gets it. Hopefully he gets it, because I, I, I would, I just would love to see it. So, Tyson, we rooting for you, um, and, and I, I really do hope that uh, in OTAs and training camp and all, all that stuff, and then come preseason, I hope he can show that same potential that he showed with the Ravens. I, all those flashes, I hope he keeps on flashing uh, for the Colts, and he, he really gets a shot to do his thing. Appreciate y'all team. Keep it clean. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. Thank you for watching as always. And thank you for subscribing and and just really helping the channel grow. Still a small channel, but uh, it was still a growing channel too. So I appreciate all of y'all. And just like Tyson Williams is when it comes to being with the Ravens, and that's been official for a couple weeks now. He was out. Um, And now he's, yeah, he's a member of the Indianapolis Colts. So shout out to Ty Ty. We out.